So today we're going to be taking a look at how do you download my project files under my videos. Now the first thing you want to go ahead and do is under my videos, press the show more button in the description and then go ahead and press this link to my GitHub page. And that will link you to the project files. Now, if I for some reason forgot to put that link there, now keep in mind, not all videos have project files, but most of them do. Then you can actually go ahead and just copy the video name here and then go ahead to my tutorials folder here. And then you can just find the video name here and then download the project files that way. But most of the time I have that link. But once you have the code here, you can of course go in here and look at the code. So if you just want to, I don't know, copy a function or something like that, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, but if you want the full code on your computer, then you have to go ahead and download this folder here. Now, the way you do that, you could of course, you know, click each file, copy the code and then name it this name here. But an easier way is just to download the tutorial repo and then you can get all of the code. So you want to go ahead and press the clone or download button. You could of course do this with the command line as well, but you want to go ahead and download the zip here. And once the project files have been downloaded, then you can go ahead and drag them in a folder of your choice. And then you can go ahead and double click on it. Now this is a zip file and I'm using WinRAR to open this, but you could also use any zip program. Usually there's one installed on your operating system. But you want to go ahead and go into this folder here and then you want to go ahead and find the project name. So that will be the same as the video name. And you just want to go ahead and scroll down until you get that name. And I'm always adding new projects. So this list will become bigger, but you can see here we have the project files here and then I can just go ahead and copy this in here. And then we can go ahead and open something like CMD. And then we can go ahead and run NPM I. Now this is only necessary if this is a node project and most of my projects are, but there are a few which is not. So of course you wanna do the setup for them, but today we're just gonna take a look at the node project. So we wanna go ahead and initialize all of the NPM packages. And of course you will need node installed as well. And if this was a C sharp project, I would probably have a solution file and then you can just go ahead and double click that one. But once you have downloaded the code here, we can go ahead and open it in Visual Studio Code or your code editor of choice. That does really not matter. And the code right now is as I had it in the video. From here, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can see I have the, the same files and we can actually go ahead and run this. Now, sometimes in my projects, I do use videos and images and those are not always included in the project files because that will just fill up my GitHub account with unnecessary data. So most of the times I do remove those, but most of the times you also don't want to use my images or videos. So you want to make sure to go ahead and put your own files in here. So that's maybe a reason why sometimes the code doesn't work. That's because you have to provide some files yourself. So make sure to watch the video and I will explain in that in the video what files I use. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one.